Welcome. Welcome to this third talk on fully rough turbulent flow in pipes on man made channels. Fully rough turbulent flow is a concept that was introduced for, after the experiments of Nikuradze in 1933. Experiments which were the subject of a number of controversies that are discussed here. The experiments were performed in pipes with internal diameter between 24 to 99 millimeters using water on uniformly distributed sound grain size. Through the 1950s to 1990s, this data set was controversial, although today it is well respected. The two leading scholars in relation to this data set were the director of the laboratory and supervisor of the product, Ludwig Prandtl, and the experimentalist, Johan Nikuradze. Why so many controversies? First, there were a number of controversies related to the data set because it was unique for too many decades with far-reaching implications that could not be reproduced for a long time, in turn attracting jealousy, criticism, and questions. These controversies were fueled in particular by Nicaragua's sympathy for the Nazi regime, which led in 1934 to his transfer to Brazil. There was also the personality on the character of Johan Nicaragua, who didn't get along well with senior scholars at Göttingen University. Further questions were also asked in relation to the scholarly contribution of Johan Nikaradze versus the role on the contribution of Ludwig Prandtl. This question, to some extent, was addressed by Prandtl himself, who acknowledged that Nikaradze was a superb experimentalist. Although Prandtl directly acknowledged that he had contribution to the work on to the 1933 paper. Further criticism were developed by some senior academics, including, in particular, Anter Ross. But today, during the 21st century, there is a worldwide recognition on rehabilitation of Nikuradze experimental finding, thanks to very recent work, including, but not only, Superpipe data set. It is now acknowledged that the 1933 paper by Nikurazi, with contribution from Louis Vandal, was a seminal data set for both fully rough turbulent flow and the transition from smooth to fully rough turbulent flow. In summary, Nikurazi experiments in turbulent and fully rough turbulent flow were far reaching and seminal in terms of flow resistance and velocity profile in fully rough turbulent flow. And there will continue to be some controversy in relation to the contribution of Ludwig Pronda. References. Thank you very much. <laughs>